Nadal Wonder finally got out of the hospital and some fans said they saw Salish and Nadal possibly kissing? If this is the first time you've heard of this, a few weeks ago, Nadal Wonder, a YouTuber with over 2.4 million subscribers, got into a really bad scooter accident, leaving him hospitalized and in a five-day coma. Of course, fans were really concerned about this as injuries to your brain can turn out very badly. Not many fans know the full details about this, but Nadal recently posted a video explaining everything and you won't believe what he says actually happened and recently i got into an accident so i'm gonna be sharing the story with you guys today but what i don't know is that my best friend salish is on her way to surprise me so fans ask questions here and the first question is where did the accident happen at like three o'clock i was going to a, a field like a farm there was like horses and animals over there i, I ride there all the time i was just going there and i didn't expect any crash I didn't, I didn't expect anything bad to happen whenever i woke up from the coma everyone was so surprised i was alive they thought i was gonna die the next Next is how it happened, and this is just so crazy to me. Say, I was going straight, the car was making a, they were on the other side, they were making a left, and both our lights were green, and I went first, and then they cut me off, and I went flying, like, over two cars. You flew over two cars? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Nadal ends up explaining even more about this when he was live streaming on Instagram, and apparently he remembers this one detail before basically blacking out. This must be so scary. Let me explain a story real quick. I was, whenever the accident happened, I was at the light listening to music. I was listening to the song Carnival, okay? On the part, go, go, go. That's the part I crashed on, so I made merch out of it. So... The next question is, how has the recovery been? And what happened when he woke up? Since the first day I was in the hospital till now, I feel much better now. My leg is much less swollen. I can like actually function with my brain before I cannot like whatsoever. But now I'm feeling much better. I feel like I'm on a road to a fast recovery. Thank you guys all, by the way, for helping me and support. I came out of the coma, my brother was sitting next to me, both of them, and they were talking to me about like how long I was in the coma for, what happened, and I was just so surprised because I didn't believe them. So this is the sweetest thing, but Salish is actually going to surprise Nadal during the interview, and fans were just going crazy when they saw this. Check out Salish's new video on it too, but just look at Nadal's reaction. It felt like four seconds had passed by in five days. It was crazy. Like, I don't remember anything. Okay, I think the most painful. Salish? A fan actually made a video saying this was scripted and Nadal knew Salish was coming. I don't know if this was actually scripted, but check out what Squad Stories has to say about this. I still think Nadal was surprised, but comment what you think. If you want to see Sailor surprise me, check out Jordan's video. Look at this. Ew. So bad, I know. It's fine, shave this part, and then it will be normal. Everyone's telling me to get a bus cap, I don't know. Wait, you had no idea she was coming? No, had no idea. Well, I'll try and entertain you. So, we finally get to see Salish and Nadal hang out. And before we get to the part of fan said they saw Salish and Nadal kiss, Salish actually takes Nadal on a walk and even answers some fan questions. All right, Nadal, we're gonna go on a walk with Kratos. Try to catch up with his view. Oh, wow. Hey, Nadal, walk's over, let's go. Wait, Salish, what's going on? Nothing. So these were on Salish's Instagram stories, and we finally get to see when they were actually posting these. I guess these were posted on the walk you guys just saw. Earlier in the week, we saw pictures like this with Salish and Nadal, as well as Salish's name on Nadal's cast. And we actually get to see these two parts in Salish's video as well as Nadal's video on their channel. But fans were so glad to see they were hanging out. Okay, Salish makes her name the biggest signature. Maybe because it shows just how much she wants Nadal to remember her when she's not there, but I guess is the moment she actually signs it. Some fans were actually saying that Salish was crying when Nadal was hurt, and I wouldn't blame her, as someone she deeply cares about is in the hospital and has no clue whether he'll be okay or not. This is what one YouTuber had to say about this. In a coma for five days. I've been worried about him.
So after Nadal is out of the hospital, his brother Juju, who you may know from his YouTube channel Juju and Nadal, builds a hoverboard wheelchair for his brother so he doesn't have to push as much to move around. Now this is just so sweet and a genius idea. You guys gotta see Juju's wheelchair creation because I think it's genius. <laughs> No. <laughs> no way. Hey, look at the moon 360. Hey, but this isn't bad though. So guys, as you can see, he's working out quite decent. Drop a like and comment below if you think this is awesome. But this is where Nadal gets on and you guys gotta see his reaction. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> boost, come on. Oh, sorry. I'm going back. Oh. You're gonna know you're gonna Oh, okay. Just like, don't drive it. Hey, behold. Nadal seems to really like the gift from Juju, but he ends up saying something on the live stream that has fans really worried. Keep watching for this next part. <laughs> Okay, so this next clip shows a fan asking if he likes Salish. I think we all want to know the answer to this, but the way he answers has some fans worried. I'm so confused now, but you guys gotta hear what he says. Do you like Salish? Well, I know it's gonna be like, uh, no, as a friend, yeah. That's gonna be my answer. Are you sure about that? Well, that's not what I heard. What'd you hear? Remember on the other live, somebody asked oh, about something and then you said, not yet? We're not like together like that. Not yet. And that was a joke. Are you that sure? was a joke. Positive. Mm hmm. I'm positive. Yeah, sure. At this point, Nadal is still recovering slowly, but he's getting his stitches out from under his cast. Now, I'm not sure if the cast is fully off now or if he still needs to be in the wheelchair, but pray for Nadal's recovery, guys. The next part shows Nadal on the live stream again and giving fans even more information on the accident. One fan even said that the song he was listening to caused the accident, and he explains more on this, but you guys gotta hear what he says at the end. It's just crazy. I was, whenever the accident happened, I was at the light listening to music. I was listening to the song Carnival, okay? On the part, go, go, go. That's the part I crashed on, so I made merch out of it. Also, it's very inspirational, like, to keep going in life, because obviously I made it through the accident. So, yeah, this is, like, a little inspirational. Um, if you guys want, you guys can go follow the clothing brand Instagram. It's called Need All Wonder Clothing with, like, an NW as a profile. So finally, we get to see a video talking about Salish and Nadal possibly kissing? This is from the channel Piper's T-Squads, and the video was titled, Nadal Wonder Caught Kissing Salish Matter After His Terrible Accident With Proof. Let's break down what happens here. I guess this part here shows his or her commentary about the situation, talking about how some fans thought Salish and Nadal got a bit close during their hug. They even show a slow-mo, and you guys gotta see this and draw Drop a like if you ship Nailish. So here's the slow motion part, and it kinda seems like Nadal kissed Salish, but he might have only kissed her on the side of her cheek or hair. But the camera doesn't have a great angle, so I can't really tell here. Fans count this as a kiss, but drop a comment on what you think, and make sure to check out Nadal and Jordan Matters channel to see their new videos.